Hello and welcome to another update video about um, optimism. Yeah, quick update here. We did cover it a few times. Talked to you in the last video about possibly here the wave to enter the wave four target range, uh, which we have done. Yes, we have now lost the 38.2% FIB level, which is actually for a wave four, the ideal retracement level. Um, however, we can still drop further in a wave four. Not a problem. We should, however, not go below 133. Otherwise, I have to come either to the conclusion that what we did here was um, another one, two setup, so that this here, in fact, in yellow was not a wave three, but it was just another wave one with the wave two coming now, which would ne not necessarily be bearish. It would just be another one, two, one, two setup. Um, at the moment, I have to primarily, though, expect that this is a wave four because we came up in a one here, came down in a two, and this is a one and no sorry in a one two and then this is a three this is a four nothing invalidating that at the moment so i have to come to the conclusion this is the the case as long as we are holding above 133 and from here then as soon as we see a bullish signal in here um there could then be the yeah that, that could be the signal that wave four is ended and we're moving up so at the moment we don't see any bullish signal here no bullish engulfing candle or anything that would suggest that this wave four is over in fact, we've just dropped below the 38.2% FIB level. If this is going to be substantial and you know proves to, to stay below that level, then I think next support will be 133. Here then the price has a chance to recover, move higher in a wave five. At the moment, I would expect a wave five is still coming. However, if we drop below 133, then it's gonna look more like uh, a one, two and another one, two pattern here. In the more bullish scenario or in the imminently bullish scenario where we would say all right we this is only a wave four and we're moving up in a wave five as soon as the wave five is done and we cannot at the moment calculate the target for the wave five because we don't know exactly where the wave four is ending but we would then calculate the wave five target um, as soon as we have a signal here from here after the wave five is complete we would then expect a larger wave two retracement i've put it here at the moment just to give you an idea where that could come down to again into the region between 122 and 170. Um, so there is a chance to go now in a wave five, then come down in a larger correction once more in a, in a possibility to accumulate before we start in a wave three to much, much higher levels. Looking at the indicators, yeah, the, the four hour has currently turned down again. So this is at the moment not bullish yet. Uh, there is also no bullish candlestick or anything. So. At the moment, I have to expect we're going down to the 50% FIP retracement at 133. However, that would all be part of the wave four scenario, okay? Um, and what I have to add as well, even if it's a one two, one two setup where we come down a bit lower in wave two, even in this scenario, this would actually be a bullish scenario as well. And we can then still carefully assume that the low here for optimism was in already. Yeah, I currently do not think that this here is already the larger wave two correction like this one, uh, which would only happen after a first larger five wave move. Um, but yeah, overall, also here just had another bearish crossover on the RSI, on the daily also bearish crossover, but here it's gonna get interesting. Can we find support on the 50 level? I think that would be quite in line with um, possibly finding support at 133. But overall, yeah, we need to see that could so that could be another drop from 152 to 133. Um, that would be before we recover in the way five. Now let's see that could be a 13% drop still. But again, it's a volatile coin. It's a smaller market cap coin, certainly an interesting one. And I think there is definitely the potential there to move up in the way five before we finish here this uh, five wave cycle and then come down in a wave two. So I just want to make you aware about this, uh, up, yeah, about this coin. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.